Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use an awesome AI animation tool called NeuroFrames. And we're gonna use a feature called Autopilot to create a music video from scratch. And I generated the song using another AI tool called Suno, which you can get to by going to suno.com. All you have to do is enter a text prompt and Suno is going to magically create you a song with lyrics. Here is a sample of the song called Lost My Ikigai. Oh, where did it go? I can't seem to find the purpose of life that's supposed to be mine. Remember, this was is generated by AI. Drawer, Pretty cool. Or the night sky. Somebody help me. I've lost my ikigai. To get started on NeuroFrames, open a web browser, go to neuroframes.com, go to the top right corner, click Start Now, and there you're just going to create an account. You will get some free credits, or acorns as they're referred to on NeuroFrames, when you create your account. If you run out of credits and you want to purchase some additional a la carte, you can do so by clicking on your account icon in the lower left corner. Then you can just select a credit amount and choose Purchase. You can also subscribe to NeuroFrames, which is gonna unlock additional features and also get you more credits. You can get to the subscription page here if you're on the account page, just click on subscribe. You can also get to it in the top right corner by clicking on the hamburger menu and choosing pricing. And if you're on the home page of NeuroFrames, you can just click on pricing in the top menu and you can toggle between monthly and yearly, which is gonna give you some additional savings. I did run out of Acorn when I was testing out the platform. So I purchased some additional credits a la carte. So if you're on this page here and you wanna get back to that a la carte pricing, I'm gonna click on start now in the top right corner, go down to the bottom left corner and click on my account icon. I chose the 600 credits for $15 and I just clicked purchase, which took me to a payment page where I could check out and purchase the credits. To use the autopilot feature on NeuroFrames so we can create a music video by simply uploading a song, all we have to do is go over to the left sidebar and click on the music icon for autopilot. All we need to do is simply click to upload a song or drag and drop the audio file right onto this box. Here I've got my Lost My Ikigai song that I generated on Suno.com. I'm just gonna drag the mp3 file right onto the box. Placeholder album artwork is automatically generated by NeuroFrames. You might notice the squirrel theme by now. To change the album artwork, we're just gonna click, type in a text prompt, choose a style, and click generate. I'm gonna change that after we create the video. To change the title of your video, just click, and just enter in the title that you want. Below that, you're gonna get some information about your song. So the duration of my song is two minutes and 46 seconds. It's 150 beats per minute. It's an E flat major, cool. You can see below the waveform, the lyrics of the song were automatically transcribed. You see the tooltip says, click to edit the lyrics, add a comma at each line break to properly format. So all you have to do is click if you wanna change any lyrics. And if you just click off, it'll go back to that default view. And if you want to trim the audio to get the part of the song exactly the way you want it, you can manually trim. If you hover your cursor to the edges, you see the double arrow, you can just click and drag in. There's also some presets. So if you click on the gear icon, you see duration preset, I click that. So if you know you want your song exactly 30 seconds long, just click and you get that little section which you can click and move around to the part of the video you want. And you can also, again, just hover your cursor to the edges and manually trim it. If you wanna reset this, you can just click the gear icon again, go back to duration and just choose full track. For my video, I'm just gonna do the chorus part. It's 20 seconds long. So I'm just gonna hover my cursors on the edge until I see the double arrow. And I'm gonna drag it in. I know the beginning starts at the 22 second mark. I'll go to the end until I see the double arrow. And I'm gonna drag it in. I know it's at the 44 second mark and I can check to make sure I got the right selection by clicking on the play icon. Oh, where did it go? I've lost my icky guy. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here to the gear icon. I'm gonna change the aspect ratio. So do you want a vertical or a wide video? I want vertical, so I'm gonna keep it at nine by 16 aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on create clip. I'm gonna roll the dice and see what we got. Ready? There's the video concept, search for identity and purpose. We're just leaving it as is. The style was automatically generated. Progressive psychedelic. 
Okay, we haven't created the video yet, so we can change the video concept by just clicking and entering in a new concept. We can also change the style. So if we click, you can see here we currently have progressive psychedelic, which we can see the different variations over here. If we just click, you can choose the different styles. This one's kind of cool. The, the Global Village Coffee House. I'm kind of digging that. Let's try soft anime. I feel like it's going to fit the song of Ikigai. Then I'm going to click on regenerate scenes. And notice it requires zero acorns or zero credits to regenerate the scenes. So I'm not taking up any credits. You can modify or edit the prompt of the scene by clicking and editing the text. And when you're ready to create the video, you're just going to click on create video. Let's see what we get. It's creating the video. It can take up to 10 minutes. Please wait. The rendering has finished. We have one scene with five clips. You can see the scene and the clips. If you scroll below the video preview, there's a scene details. And as you add additional scenes, they will all be up at the top. You just click on a scene and that's going to expand and show you all of the clips for each scene. If you want to modify or change the scene story or the prompt, you can just click and just enter in a new prompt. And when you hover your cursor, you see it has that re-render clip. You would just click to re-render the clip. And it will require additional acorns or credits each time you re-render the clip. But let's watch the video and see what autopilot on neural frames generated from us by simply uploading a song. I'm going to go into full screen mode. Let's see what we got. Did it go? I, can't seem to find I love the song. The purpose of life that's supposed to be mine. Is it in my sock drawer? Somebody help me. I've lost my icky guy. Love the ending. Pretty cool. Make any edits that you want to your clip. Then you're going to click up here. It might say export video when you first do it, but once it's done, it'll say download video. You can just click. Oh, it's going to open up in a browser. Just click on the three little dots and choose download to download a copy of the video directly to your computer. To view or edit your autopilot projects at any time, just click on the autopilot icon in the sidebar. That's the music note. There you will see a list of your autopilot projects. Over on the right, you can click on the play icon to preview it. Click on the trash can to delete it. You can click on upload music if you want to create a new autopilot music video. Or you can just click. We can also change the cover art now or the album art. So I can just click that. Let's just do dreamy nostalgia. Click generate. See what we get. There is our album art. Good enough for me. You could select additional parts of the song. Then click on create clip. If you want to add additional scenes to your music video. You can also open up existing scenes by simply clicking on them. And just scroll below the video. Click to change the text. And click to regenerate or re-render a clip. If you want even more editing control over your autopilot music videos, you can open any project in your video library by simply clicking on the video library icon in the sidebar. Select a project. Here you can download a video or you can choose open an editor where you have a timeline and a ton of options so you can get your music video exactly how you want it. The recap. The AI animation tool that I highly recommend you check out is called Neural Frames, which you can get to by opening a web browser and going to neuralframes.com. The AI tool that I use to generate the entire song, including the lyrics, is called Suno, which you can get to at suno.com. And the feature that we use on Neural Frames to create a music video by simply uploading our song from Suno is called Autopilot which you can get to by simply clicking on the music icon in the sidebar, upload the music, and generate the music video. And I will leave you with another autopilot music video created on neuralframes.com. It's using the same song, only this one is using the surreal dreamscape style. Warning, it's kind of a tearjerker. Go, I can't seem to find The purpose of life that's supposed to be mine I hope he finds it Is it in my sock drawer Or the night sky Somebody help me I've lost my icky guy That is Autopilot on Neuroframes.com Links in the description My name is Mike Murphy Cheers